from our short intro video. Today we are talking about all of the ways that having a dog has changed my life and will probably change your life as well. Especially if you're getting a corgi as your first dog. These little stumpy stubborn dogs are actually a lot of work and take a lot of care and training and knowledge to take care of. Yeah, huh? God, that was so funny. <laughs> so the first major way that my life changed since getting a dog is I have a lot less freedom and everything I do requires a bit more planning. When you get a dog, your life is going to kind of start to revolve around their schedule, when they need to be taken out to go potty, when they need to eat dinner and breakfast, when they need their exercise and mental stimulation. So keep that in mind when you bring home your dog that your schedule is definitely not going to remain the same. Your new dog is really going to thrive in a routine, especially in those first few months. So you're going to have to establish said routine and be committed to it. Willow has a morning routine and a night routine that she expects every single day. So when the clock turns 7 a.m., she's ready to get up and go potty and have her breakfast. And when the clock turns 7 p.m., she's staring at me waiting for me to feed dinner. If I'm going to be going out and doing something at night, I have to make sure to plan around when she's going to be fed, when she's going to be exercised, or I have to plan to have someone come over and help me. I can't just not feed her or feed her late or not take her on a walk because these things are really important to her life and her happiness. When I first brought home Willow, I got really worried that I would never have a moment to myself anymore and that my whole life would revolve around Willow. And I was trying to watch TV one night and she was just barking at me and whining and I was like, did I make a mistake? This, am I never gonna be able to watch TV again? And obviously, yes, my life revolves around Willow to an extent, but I did figure out how to get into that routine. And as she grew up and she got less energy and just became an adult dog, obviously we figured out our balance with each other, but it does take some time to get used to. And if you have a puppy and you're feeling really overwhelmed, just know that that will not be your situation forever. I also used to travel a lot before I had Willow and now traveling requires a lot more planning. I can't just decide to take a trip or decide to do a weekend getaway. It's going to involve me having to plan for a dog sitter or bringing Willow along with me. And there's just a lot more that goes into it. If I bring Willow along with me, I have to think about the food that I need to bring her, the accessories I need to bring her, all of that stuff. So it's just a lot less spontaneity and freedom really for yourself bringing home a dog. A lot of people ask me if getting a puppy is doable when you're working 40 hours a week 
and it is, but you have to definitely have a plan, whether you have someone come over to let your dog out, to go potty every four hours, or if you can come home on your lunch break, or you can take your dog to work with you. There's just a lot of planning involved in all of this, and it's definitely doable, but you just have to know that you're probably gonna need help. You're probably gonna need to take the first week off of work just to help your dog get adjusted, and you're just going to need to change your routine, and trust me, you will get used to it. It will, you will adjust, and everything will be fine. The second thing that has changed since I brought home Willow is my house. Every corner you look, there are dog products, dog toys, dog beds, and of course, dog hair. It has taught me to care less about things being perfect all the time. There's always dog hair on my clothes. I have to vacuum my house every day. And picking up toys has become a regular part of my routine. But luckily, they make a lot of really cute dog beds and cute dog bins and baskets and stuff that you can add to your home decor to still keep it looking cute. And there are robot vacuums and lint rollers, which have been a game changer for me. Willow has a dog bed in probably every single room of my house and my cabinets are typically full of either her food or grooming product. I even have a whole dresser currently that is dedicated to her stuff and I'm in the process of transitioning it to a closet that is full of her stuff so that I can get rid of the dresser. But your dog comes with a lot of stuff and that stuff is going to need a space in your house. You might start out with a couple of things and your puppy barely shedding. Puppies don't typically shed, but you'll wake up a year from now and be like, okay, my dog has invaded my entire house. So the third way that I've really changed since getting a dog is I have, I have become so knowledgeable about dog things. I guess I did my minor research before getting Willow, but you really don't start learning everything there is to know until you bring home your dog. I mean, I have started a YouTube channel about all of this information, which is stuff that I had no idea about three years ago. So when you bring home your dog, you're going to be learning so much stuff. My advice would definitely be not to get overwhelmed by all the things that you need to know when you're getting a dog and just be open to learning with your dog and as your dog grows because you're gonna learn so much more by doing rather than trying to cram a bunch of information into your brain on the first day you bring home your dog. The fourth thing that changed a lot in my life since bringing home Willow is that I've gotten a lot more active and explored a lot of new places and also met a lot of new people. I really wanted a dog because I wanted a companion to take on hikes with me and to go and get out and go to dog parks with and just to have a buddy to go do these things with when I'm by myself. I do have cats and I had cats a couple of years before I got Willow, but obviously it's a lot harder to take them to friends' houses with you. You can't take them to dog-friendly restaurants. So I really wanted a dog to be able to take with me to places. Since getting a dog, I have found so many cool hikes in my area, so many cool dog-friendly patios. I've visited multiple dog parks that are really fun, and I've met so many corgi owners that we have built like lifelong friendships from meeting at dog parks and meeting over social media. So bringing home a dog has enabled me to be a lot more active and social, and I really love that aspect which fits really well into the fifth thing that has changed is I've gotten a lot more confident as a person and getting a dog has really enabled me to come out of my shell. I'm a very shy person, but whenever I'm out with Willow, it's just so much easier to talk to strangers because they always want to ask me about my dog and I love talking about my dog. So if anybody comes up to me to have a chat about corgis or to take a picture of Willow or whatever, it's a lot easier for me to socialize and get to know other people. Like I said, I've met a ton of new friends through Willow. Having a dog just becomes part of your personality and it's so easy to chat with people about their dogs as well. All right, Willow is back for the sixth thing that has really changed about me and my life since getting a dog is the way that I spend my money. I think a lot of people know that getting a dog is a big financial commitment. Obviously you have vet bills and their food bills and buying them toys and any accessories they need, grooming, 
all of that stuff. But what I didn't realize is that I'm actually going to want to spend my money on Willow. I think it's a very millennial thing to want to spoil our dogs, but I didn't really realize that I would be that crazy about wanting to spoil my dog. When I first got Willow, I had so many things in my Amazon cart that I wanted to buy for her. There were so many collars and leashes and bandanas and dog beds that I would rather spend my money on her than buying myself new clothes or accessories or whatever it was that I was typically spending my money on. The seventh way that my life has really changed is that I have become less selfish. When you get a dog, you really have to not think about yourself as much and put your dog first because they can't take care of themselves. They rely on you to take care of them. So like I said on the first one, I can't just go out. I have to plan and make sure that Willow is going to be okay before I go out or before I travel. I have to make sure that I'm getting her to her vet appointments and that I'm making sure she's eating the best quality food and make sure that she's healthy and happy. I have to make sure that she's getting out and exercising or going on walks rather than doing what I want to do. I have to share my house with her. I have to share my bed with her. And I, I don't necessarily have to share my bed with her. I just like to. But I've had to learn how to sleep with a dog in my bed who is moving all around and occasionally will literally push me out of my spot in the middle of the night. And it was a hard adjustment at first, but now I can't imagine it any other way. So yeah, I may have lost a bit of my freedom that I had before, but it has made my life much more whole. The eighth and final way that having a dog has changed my life and will change your life too is that it just has made me a happier person. The first few weeks of getting a new puppy or a new dog may come along with a bit of stress. I was guilty of that as well. Being around a dog and interacting with a dog actually causes your brain to produce more oxytocin, which in turn makes you happier. And also it reduces your stress and anxiety. All the things that I mentioned before number eight have been things that have led me to to lead a happier and healthier life, and those are all due to Willow. If I'm having a bad day, I walk in, I see Willow, she gets so excited that I'm home, my mood does a 180. Getting a dog has just been life-changing and was the best decision that I have ever made. So while it has changed quite a bit of things in my life, things that I probably can't even think of right now, they have all changed for the better. All right, that's it for our video this week. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet, please subscribe and follow us on Instagram because we share a lot more fun Corgi Willow videos and fun content and photos and stuff like that. So that is at Willow the Corgi. Yeah, that's where we'll be at. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and leave any questions in the comments. I always be sure to get back to you. We will see you guys later and me and Willow are gonna go play now. Huh? Are you gonna go play? Are we gonna go play? Are we gonna go play? Bye guys.